I'm revving. Breach, just protecting my investment. Ask about me, integrity's not a question. B2 Fighting Series fans, this amateur welterweight battle is set for three rounds at three minutes apiece. First, hiding out of the blue corner. His record stands at four wins and four losses. His height, five feet, nine inches. His weight, 165 pounds. He trains with Franklin's Grizz Cave and Vortex MMA and comes to you from Copenhagen, New York. He is your number eight ranked B2 North welterweight contender, and his name is Nick Rackett Mondelli. And his opponent, fighting out of the one more gym red corner. His record stands at five wins and three losses. His height, six feet, one inch. His weight, 171 pounds. He trains with Route 250 Martial Arts and comes to you from Dover, Ohio. His name is Brogan Indres. All right, when the action begins, Nick Mondelli in the black and gray shorts, Brogan Indres in the black and gray tights. Third man in the cage, referee Chris Kinman. Man, I just cannot believe this caliber of fight is our second fight man, of the night, man, to be honest with you. Hell of a fight card. Look how patient Nick's been. He's never been that patient, man. He's always came out balls to the wall right off the rip. And just doing go. no hesitation to close the distance. And that's what we talked about. He don't need to stay on the outside. Mandela, has got, like I said, he's got dynamite in his hands. Oh, oh big over left. Indress needs to move his head off center. But look, I don't like how Nick Mundell, he's, he's got his hands down to his chest, man. He's got to get them hands up. Brogan's a, he's, he's a tough guy, too. He just, he's got to watch that neck and takedown like that, though, against Nick Mundelli. It's almost as if Mondelli with his hands down, is inviting the other guy to come in and, and like, welcome that brawl. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. Oh, that, 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 was, that head that kick was, close. was really close. Look how tall Brogan yes. looks, doesn't he? He looks real long, man. Very tall. And and now that Mondelli's a little bit more healthier, his mass is starting to come down. He's not the the Hulk that we are used to seeing him being. I mean, I like his new approach, to I, be honest with I you, I do, man. too. I do as well. And as you said, this is the biggest test of his career so far. Brogan Indres is nothing to play around with. No, the man's very dangerous. Nice, nice calf kick by Nick Mondelli and followed it up with some good punches like that. Mixing it up with punches and bunches. Mondelli's hell of a story that, from his training camp, man. Yeah, man, I'm so proud of him. He, I mean, such a nice guy. And to see him really take this sport serious. Oh, Straight left lands again for Mondelli. But hey, that was a check hook by uh, Brogan as well that caught Mondelli. There's a oh, big nice. judo hip toss. That's what we we're talking about, right? We were going to say uh, we figured Nick might have a little bit of trouble. Brogan Indres got that left arm of Mondelli wrapped around Mondelli, trying to climb his legs up high to reclaim some sort of guard. It looked like Brogan was trying to get that arm yeah, bar right there. To... He's tapped. Did he get that? He wow. got it. Mondelli wow. taps to, this, to the, the side crucifix arm bar. I, I'm not quite sure what the technical name for that one is. It almost looked like a hybrid Kimura yes. key lock. I, I think I've seen that. Is, is that the Jeremy Pender Nino armbar? It kind of looked just like yeah. that. I was going to say what I thought he was going for was that crucifix armbar that Robert Turnquest made famous in Bellator. Right. Um, but that was a slick submission, man. Here's the replay right here. Watch this judo throw, this hip toss right here. Yes, sir. And that's that judo black belt from Brogan Indress. And that, unfortunately, that's what, that what can happen. You make one small mistake if you're Nick Mondelli. You clinch up with the judo black belt. And before you know it, you're in a world of hurt. Unlucky. A hell of a performance from Brogan Indress as he moves to six wins, three losses. That's a hell of a record, Andy. It is, man. Look, the man's dangerous. But look, look, let's talk about Nick real quick. Brogan. Look, he's going to move up our rankings, but Nick did. I loved his approach coming out to it, and he's to hold his head high and keep trusting yes. the process. 
absolutely improved so much as a fighter from what we saw in his amateur debut to now a completely different fighter. This Nick Mondelli would wipe the floor with debut Nick Mondelli, which sounds like an oversimplification. You can go, oh, yeah, I mean, that's how it's supposed to be. That is how it's supposed to be, but it's not always that way. Sometimes guys don't evolve, and Mondelli is, and Brogan Indress is as well as he moves to 6-3 and three here tonight. We're going to wrap this one up. Here's Lance Green. Me Too Fighting Series fans, your referee, Chris Kinman has brought a stop to this fight at two minutes and six seconds into round number one. Your, refer your winner by TKO due to ref stoppage out of the red corner, Brogan Indrath. On the way up with the same ones that was down from the jump day one. Same ones been around when the ain't funds even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one.